what is going on guys welcome back to bitcoin daily today we are talking about we're doing a, a recap on what has been going on throughout this week so first things first as you guys know yesterday uh bitmex got hit with a charge from the cftc and as you can see today here open interest on bitmex drops 16 percent investors withdraw around 37,000 bitcoin in less than 24 hours after the charges all right so that's one thing that we're keeping our eyes on and that's one thing that led to bitcoin's price going down in the last 24 hours around four percent um, and then the other thing, of course, is with uh, the whole Trump getting coronavirus uh, and reporting it this morning at 1 a.m. So that led the stock market down, which in correlation also led Bitcoin down as one of the, one of the only safe havens um, that's been correlated with the stock market um, as of recent. So um, taking a look here at the market. Uh, we can see that everything is pretty much in the red in the last 24 hours. If we just go down, the, all, all top 10 coins are in the red. Um, and we just go down, basically everything is red. So um, everything has dropped because of this news in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin's down 3.5%. Ethereum down 6.5%. Um, XRP down almost 5 Bitcoin Cash down 6%, Binance Coin down 5%, Polkadot down 11 uh, Chainlink down 11%, and uh, Litecoin down 7%. So um, those are just some of the coins, and let's just jump right into these charts, and uh, let's take a look at uh, what's going on and what we might be able to expect over the weekend and on Monday next week um, so as you can see here this was the drop off with the news um, over the last 24 hours and uh, as you can see we're holding support here at this Fibonacci zone which is super far away here it is uh, 60 the 61.8 percent zone um, the Fibonacci retracement level we have been holding that level so it has played a role yet again here as you can see this bounce um, and also uh, we have some support at the 10,500 level which is a psychological support area th area there so we're currently on top of that now if I'm looking for a entry here um, I'm probably looking to get in above 10,600 as a breakout trade or I'm looking to enter as close to this Fibonacci retracement level as possible so that's in the 10,400 range um, anything in between I'm really not uh, doing anything there there's just um, no sense of direction in that area so you want to look for a breakout or a support level to enter other than that you just want to kind of sit on your hands and stay out of the market um, looking at Ethereum um it's you know obviously it followed bitcoin as well um let me see here if i can move this fibonacci retracement tool hold on let me let me see if i could stretch it out so we can oh is it locked hold on unlock it stretch it out a little bit over here lock it back up all right let's see just wanted to see if, if uh, we hit on it or not during this drop. It doesn't look like we reached that level. Um, but we did go all the way down to about the 335 area. What was the low here on this drop? Uh, 334. So yeah, so about the 335 area, as you can see back here, it also played as a support, as a minor support. There was price action there. So price action could have been expected in that same zone. Um, if I'm looking for a trade here to enter, uh, I would probably be looking at the 350 range. Um, so I'm looking for a breakout trade above 350. 350, if you, you see here, played this a support here, played support all over here, all over here. So we can expect price action if we cross that uh, that number. So that's mostly what I'm looking for um, for a pullback I'm not really looking for any pullback entries 
um, I'm only playing that breakout for the moment if we if we drop down deeper then we can look for pullbacks um, maybe down to the 320 area is probably where I would like to enter a pullback um, other than that right now I'm only playing that breakout on Ethereum um, if we look over at Bitcoin Cash what do we got we're currently at 219 to 20 zone so that's kind of a support resistance area there from previously um, if we're looking at it let me see that 220 area yeah look at this 220 area let's go ahead and put a let's mark that 220 Go ahead and mark it. Alright, so we got the 220 area. I just want to be able to see all the times it hit on, on 220. Look at that. And then it hit it there as a resistance. Resistance support. And then we're back down now. You do see that when it was dropping, it, it there was price action there. They tried to hold, but it violated through that price. And then now on our way back up, we've been rejected there. So if I'm looking here for an entry, I'm probably looking above this high right here, which is the four hour high, um, which is around 220.65. So we're looking for a breakout entry above 220.65 basically um, in that range. Uh, if I'm looking for a support entry, you probably got to look all the way back down to 200, um, which I doubt is going to go that low. Uh, but 200 and 210 would probably be the other support entries you could look for in uh, Bitcoin Cash. Um, Litecoin, looking at Litecoin real quick, we're at 45. Uh, we went up, it it's really hasn't moved much. We went up as high as what, 48 and as low as 43. So uh, there hasn't been too much price movement here. Uh, it's all trading between a pretty pretty small range um, it looks like between 40 to 50 basically is the range that it's trading at um, I don't know I'm not really taking any trades on Litecoin for the moment uh, I guess $43 would be a support that you could look into entering and if you're looking for a breakout you're probably just waiting on 50 um, yeah, I just don't see uh, I don't see much movement here, so I'm currently staying out of that. Um, XRP, looking at XRP, also saw a drop here, back almost back down to uh, our support. Uh, our support was at 22 cents range, so this is the support I'm looking for an entry. Um, if you're looking for a breakout trade, a breakout entry. Hmm, let me see. Let's look back over here. Maybe around the 23 cents and 23.50 range. It's currently at 23.30. So 23.50 could be a possible uh, breakout entry here. Um, and your targets would be uh, 24, 24 cents, 24.50, 25. So that that's uh, for XRP. Um, Chainlink. Chainlink also dropped a good about 11% or so in the last 24 hours. Um, we're back down under $10 range. Um, so I'm looking, if I'm looking for a breakout entry, I'm looking for that $10. Um, that's that. Uh, that's a, a strong psychological support resistance zone. So that's basically what I'm looking for. Something above that, and I'm using $11 as my main target. Um, and uh, if I'm looking for another support below $10, the only other support below $10 that I would use to enter is in the $7 range. So um, unless that it goes, it drops down that low, I won't be doing that uh, entry. Uh, I'll just be looking for the um, breakout entry. Um, and Tezos, Tezos down 6% today. Um, the entry here would be probably this $2 range. I'll be looking for that support entry at $2. Uh, it's at 206 right now, so it's it's uh, not a bad price to enter. Um, and then your target's probably going to be uh, around 220 and 230. Looks like is would be your two your two targets. 
Um, let's look at Neo. Neo dropped under 20, so we're back at 18. Um, if I'm looking to enter Neo, I'm probably looking for a breakout above 1850. Um, and then another entry would be a breakout above $20. Uh, if I'm looking for a support, it looks like 1650 would be a decent support to enter at. Um, so 1650 and $16. So six, between 16 to 1650 would be a support entry above uh, 1850 would be a breakout entry for NEO. Um, looking here at the Bitcoin futures, you can see uh, that we've kind of, after that drop, we've kind of just co kind of consolidating, might be forming some sort of bear flag here. So we got to keep an eye on that. Uh, and last but not least, let's take a look at Cardano. Uh, also down 4.23%. Uh, for entry here, let's see, where is it currently at? It's at 884. So the main breakout entry that I'm, that I'm, looking for here is above this 980 range um, I'm not sure if I'm entering anything down here I just don't really like anything maybe let me see I don't know I'm not I'm not really liking any of the support entries um, so I'm only looking for the, at this breakout entry for Cardano right now um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys just wanted to, to recap what was going on in this uh on this week with this uh the bitmex charges and then trump with the coronavirus and who knows who else um that's those are the levels i'm currently looking at if you guys are looking to enter any trades uh write those levels down and pay attention make sure to set up some alerts in those levels so that uh if the price hits that you can set up your trade um that's pretty much it for this week guys Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you guys next week. Peace and love.